Rosalind Carter was born Eleanor Rosalind Smith on August 18, 1927, in Plains, Georgia. She married Jimmy Carter, a naval officer and later a peanut farmer, in 1946, and they had four children, Jack, James, Donnell, and Amy. She supported her husband's political career, which led him to become the governor of Georgia in 1971 and the president of the United States in 1977. As the first lady, Rosalind Carter was actively involved in the administration's policies and programs, especially in the areas of mental health, human rights, and international affairs. She was the first first lady to attend cabinet meetings and briefings, and to serve as an official envoy to foreign countries. She also advocated for the ratification of the Equal Rights Amendment, the improvement of the quality of life for the elderly, and the promotion of peace and democracy around the world. After leaving the White House in 1981, Rosalind Carter continued to work on various causes, such as the Carter Center, a non-profit organization that promotes human rights and global health. She also wrote several books, including First Lady from Plains, 1984, Everything to Gain, Making the Most of the Rest of Your Life, 1987, with Jimmy Carter, Helping Yourself Help Others, A Book for Caregivers, 1994, and Within Our Reach, Ending the Mental Health Crisis, 2010, with Susan K. Golint and Catherine East Cade. She and her husband also contributed to the expansion of the non-profit housing organization Habitat for Humanity. Rosalind Carter died on November 19, 2023, at the age of 96, in Plains, Georgia 1. She was survived by her husband, her children, her grandchildren, and her great-grandchildren. She was widely admired and respected for her intelligence, compassion, and dedication to public service. She was one of the most influential and popular first ladies in American history. We say goodbye to arguably the best first lady and humanitarian we have ever had in the White House. Rosalind Carter. Born on August 18, 1927. Died on November 19, 2023.